Heather Andrews is usually on the doctor side of the hospital experience working as an OBGYN, but complications due to severe preeclampsia during her own pregnancy led to her being transported to the Riley Maternity Tower. Her condition was briefly stabilized, but then things took a turn. Her lab showed she was heading toward HELP syndrome, a life-threatening condition. So I'm trying to like assess myself, right, as best as you can. And when I started feeling over here, over my liver, it, the pain got worse, which again is suggestive of, of worsening preeclampsia and HELP. Um, and that's when I really knew like, this is, this is not good. The medical team decided Heather's baby Ellie had to be delivered immediately. Heather was wheeled into the operating room for an emergency C-section. She had to be placed under general anesthesia, which meant her husband could not be in the OR. I apparently went into flash pulmonary edema, and which put me into heart failure on the table. Um, so that was one reason why they had so many extra people being called in um, for the cardiac issues. And then they deliver her, and the next step is to try to remove the placenta. Um, placenta would not come out and I was hemorrhaging um, and was found to have a pulmonary, or I'm sorry, a placenta in Creta, um, which the only solution for that is to do a hysterectomy. And so then they had to call extra staff in too um, to actually help perform the hysterectomy. Obviously you have to act quickly. And so um, that was all kind of happening simultaneously. And obviously your heart's racing and you're not sure what's gonna happen. And so at that point you're just kind of pushing forward to see what everybody has to say. The neonatologist took my phone in, uh, took pictures of Ellie uh, oh, out yeah. and on the warmer and stuff like that. So we have, we're still able to capture a lot of those pictures and images that we weren't, wouldn't have normally been able to capture had she not taken the phone in to be able to do all that. So that was a huge blessing. While the NICU team cared for their daughter, Ellie, Heather was moved to the OB intensive care unit. She hadn't had a chance to meet her baby amidst all the complications, so the medical team decided to change that. The NICU staff coordinated with the ICU staff in a Herculean effort to bring her down in her isolate with everything. And about 22 hours after delivery, they wheeled her down um, to see me for the, so I could see her for the first so time. So our, our NICU staff woke me up. I was sleeping uh, here in Ellie's room and they woke me up at four o'clock and said, we're gonna take her, we're gonna take her down to, to see uh, see her mama. So uh, that was a pretty cool opportunity and experience to have. And so mom and baby could still be able to connect because, you know, that part is so critical, I think. Mm -hmm. This moment brought Heather a deep appreciation for being under the same roof as her baby, even after the many unforeseen events. The fact that you could keep mom and baby who are both in critical conditions together um, meant the world. Um, you know, if, if I had been back at my home hospital, they could have taken care of me, but she would have been brought up here and now we're separated by 45 minutes and poor Craig's having to bounce back between cities and hospitals. Um, and that would have been a huge stressor for everyone. I wouldn't have been able to see her for five days, let alone, you know, instead of the 22 hours that it ended up being before I could see her. Um, so that it meant a lot that I, I could be here even as I was you know, released from the ICU and in that postpartum phase that I could come up and see her, we could do that.